the best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Welcome to Site Review Tuesday. I'm Robert with Zenfolio Customer Success, and I want to say thank you for joining me. Now, here in a minute, we're going to get to reviewing one of your websites, and I do want to point out that while this has been pre-recorded, I'm hanging out in the chat, interacting with you guys live, and answering your questions. Now, if you're interested in having your website reviewed, there's a link in the description below this video where you can submit your site. And in addition to getting a site review, I also offer a one-on-one -on -one session to each photographer who has had a site review done to help them answer any questions or assist in making any changes that they may want to make. Now, don't forget, we also live stream every Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. Let's get into the site review. Hi guys, this is Katie bringing you another Zenfolio Life Site Review. Today we're going to be looking at Route66Picks.com by Frank Gifford. Uh, that's www.rt66pix.com. And I just want to thank Frank for submitting his site for review. This is going to be a fun and unusual one, so I hope that you guys will strap in uh, to quote Smokey and the Bandit. We've got a long way to go and not a lot of time to get there. So uh, I just want to say this is yet another example of a Zenfolio user um, really making the platform his own. This is not your ordinary Zenfolio site and I think it's really cool what Frank has done with the platform. This is an extensive collection of photos from an American institution. So uh, again, thank you, Frank, for submitting Route66Picks.com for our review. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so looking here at the home page, um, there are a couple things that I wanted to mention just in terms of kind of a first view. So the first thing I would like to see is maybe a little bit of attention paid to the theme of the page because these site menu items with that kind of light blue and then with the blue uh, gray on the gradient are a little hard to read. Um, they're small text, which is not a deal breaker. You've got a lot of site menu items going on there, but maybe playing around with the theme of the page uh, would help to make those site menu items a little more readable. There's also quite a lot of site menu items, and you can see it a little bit here on the home page. Um, but when we get into the site, there are a lot of site menu items that I think could maybe be helped by consolidating some of those into a drop down menu. Um, so, since a few of the pages are uh, kind of related to each other, using a drop down for the site menu could be a way of making it so that the same site menu items appear on the home page as well on the other pages that are using the header the site header rather than a home page menu uh, so besides the site menu items uh, 
as far as the slideshow is concerned, there's really a lot of images and there are some images that are really awesome. I love, this is one of the images that I saw that I was like, oh my gosh, I love that so much. Um, some of the others, while they might be consistent with the shooting style, are maybe not quite as striking. So I would maybe select a smaller sample of say only your favorite, the best images, the most comical, the most iconic, to really draw attention to um, <laughs> the, the purpose of the site. But there's really some amazing images in this, uh, <laughs> in this homepage slideshow that, um, that were really enjoyable to see when I was looking over the site. Uh, I do also see here a really nice use of the all photographs being able to be viewed on a home page. Since all of these galleries are uh, are there for your visitors to view and um, I think that's a really great use of of including that all photographs group here on your home page. So it makes it easy for folks to access uh, any gallery that they might be interested in if they're trying to find out more photos from Texas, if they're interested in seeing <laughs> some bur burros. Uh, uh, I think that's a really fun way of organizing the account. So, um, so let's look here at the about page. <laughs> so mysterious, Frank. <laughs> I love that we photographers uh, so often tend to do self-portraits with a camera in front of our faces. Um, but I love what Frank has done here to use his about page as a kind of artist statement. Um, I think that's very appropriate to the site itself. So um, let's maybe go in here to the blog link. I noticed when I was looking at your site that this is not the built-ins and folio blog, but is a custom page. So one thing that I wondered is, um, is this the blog or is this the core story of this website? If so, it might even be better to make this the story, and then uh, you might even consider using the Zenfolio blog as a way of updating visitors on your travels, any new photos that you've taken. Um, it might be a way of updating your visitors with news stories and make this the this custom page the core story um, of the site itself. So. Um, thought that might be an interesting way of incorporating blog functionality. Also, I noticed that this image here at the top of the of the blog page is not showing because this is in a password protected or private gallery. So visitors would not be able to see that image unless there was a password entered. So you might consider either changing the access control settings for the gallery that that photo is located in or put this image in a, in a public gallery and then relink it. So that would be a way of showing this image in that custom page. I also noticed uh Frank is going to be using a lot of custom pages on his site, and I did notice that that was the case for a couple different images um, in other parts of the site where you would see these blank um, boxes instead of images, and that would be because those images are password protected or private. So, uh, so that would be how you would fix those missing images. So let's go here to the contact page. And this is just a very simple contact page. Obviously, Frank, I think it's probably questionable that there would be an address to provide since you're all over the place. But um, but this is a pretty straightforward page. Buttons easy to click and easy to see. So this is fine with me. Got no problems here with this contact page. 
I did notice, however, that the contact page was one of the site menu items that might have been sacrificed on the home page, um, and there were a couple of these site menu items that I didn't see on the home page, so it might be worth, um, again, consolidating some of those site menu items so that things like contact are readily available <laughs> to your visitors. <laughs> So, I'm here at the free page, and I mean, this really speaks for itself, doesn't it? I, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so tickled. Um, I wish everyone could be as free as you, Frank. Um, so, uh, uh, well, I'm almost worried to go here to the fun section, <laughs> but let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah, this is fun. Frank, this is really fun, and you seem so fun. Um, this is just a collection of all kinds of activities and trivia and... Um, really the only thing that I could think that might be helpful is maybe finding something like, um, since this is a custom page, you could maybe find some way of embedding. I noticed there was a quiz up there. You could maybe find a third party service that does something like an embeddable quiz, uh, as a way of consolidating some of the information on this page. Um, but I then noticed that after fun, you're sending folks straight home, uh, you might consider moving the position of this site menu item, but let's just go back home just for fun. <laughs> or from fun, in this case. Um, but since we're back here on the home page, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to click on one of these galleries and see how these are set up. I do see a quick shop products list, but for some galleries, I saw a quick shop products list. For some other galleries, I saw that, um, that clicking on the image would bring me to the quick shop. So it might be worth making the setup for those uh, for those shopping experiences a little more consistent between galleries. And since there are so many, I can't really get into the meat of that, but you can see here Frank's done a good job of, uh, of use, utilizing the quick shop feature once a visitor does decide to click on some of these really great images. So. Um, so let's see here where we go from home. We'll go to the preservation page. So one thing that I thought about since I'm a big fan of ruins generally is um, that it might be worth for these custom pages since you're embedding these photos in the pages to set a click action for the photos when you put them in the custom page so that a visitor can be routed directly to the gallery where the image is located so that if say they're going through these images and they go, oh my God, I love that photo they can click on the photo and then be routed directly to the gallery that that photo is located in. And that is an, an unusually oriented map. <laughs> um, so that uh, that is what I would say about maybe optimizing the custom pages to get folks into those quick shops and purchasing those images if they so choose. Uh, also love the history lesson, and there are a lot of really cool links on the bottom of this preservation page at the bottom. And this is the case for many of Frank's uh, custom pages, so um, I definitely love that that is included. Pretty straightforward using the recently added galleries to link here on the site for newer stuff that might have been created or modified in the recent past. Some of these look like older galleries, but maybe there were some changes made. Um, in that case, you might even want to remove the information about created and modified date and just leave that as is uh, for your visitors to consider 
recent. We'll go here to the register page. So these kinds of utility pages like contact, register, search, these could maybe be included in a drop down menu for um, like resources or something to kind of tie those uh, similarly themed pages together. Pretty straightforward login or register page. All of this stuff is pretty easy to read. So no major problems that I can see here. Um, also, the search page is just going to be the built-in search page, so let's go on here to tech. So, Frank has done us the service of being very, very generous with uh, his process and how he captures the images that he does and why he selects the images that he does. And like I say, it's really generous. Some photographers like to keep that sort of information really tight under lock and key, but Frank has given us uh, quite a lot of information about how and why he photographs things the way he does. Um, again, I'm seeing one of those missing password or protected or private images. So that's something that might be worth looking into, but a very generous insight into Frank's process. Go here to the t-shirts link. So this is another case where I noticed it might be worth looking into um, how the shopping process is uh, sort of dissimilar for some galleries versus others, seeing the quick shop products list. Of course, clicking on an image will also bring a visitor to the quick shop products, but um, I don't always find that the quick shop products list is as helpful as it might be because folks might be tempted to click on one of these quick shop products and then what ends up happening in the quick shop products list is that folks might be routed instead to the shop page rather than the quick shop so um, it just depends on your preference whether you want to keep that quick shop products list as kind of an index of what folks can get um, but it's really up to you also, I noticed for a few of these pages, and this will come up here in the top 40 faves, so I'll go ahead and go to the top 40 faves site menu item. Um, it might be worth on some of these to remove the pagination. Um, so here we're promised 40 photos and then there are just a handful that show up based on the, the view of the page. So um, pagination is a setting under options that you can enable or disable. So for at least some of these, I think that it might be worth removing that pagination feature. Also, um, as soon as I found this gallery here in the top 40 faves, I thought, why not use this as the content for the homepage slideshow? So it's something to consider uh, as far as maybe um, consolidating some of the images that appear on the home page. Go here to travel. Great image and lots of great information. Uh, the the things that Frank must have seen and done uh, <laughs> over the years would, uh, I'm sure, be too much for multiple lifetimes for someone else, but Frank has compiled this incredible index of information traveling all over the U.S., so um, I think this is a really great resource for people, but again, it might be uh, one of those things that you can consolidate into um, a drop-down menu. So you could maybe have travel, uh, preservation, um, 
a blog slash site story under something like a resources drop down menu so just something to consider for um for ways of consolidating some of the information on your site and making it a le little easier for your visitors to get to so uh let's go back here to the home again uh putting that home maybe over here on the far left side might be useful in case folks are really just trying to get back to that home page to maybe get to the, the all photos galleries which you can also find at this link um but let's go ahead and go back home and just review there's no way I would be able to click on all of the pages that I've covered for this site review. So I'll just lead out of this site review for Frank's Route66Picks.com. That's by Frank Gifford uh, by saying, I love this use of the Zimfolio platform to really <laughs> bring attention and, and information all in one place for an American institution. Americans have always been known for our sense of adventure, and I think that this is a thoroughly American site. <laughs> and I just, I love the images, I love the sense of adventure, and it's been a real treat to look over the site again maybe looking in theme designer to make things like site menu items a little bit easier to read on first glance um, but this really is kind of an unusual case so uh, so so much of what I do is subjective but I think objectively this is a fascinating site I recommend that anyone with any kind of curiosity about American folklore, culture, um, uh, and with an interest in, in interesting travel photography should check out this site. It was really a lot of fun. Thanks again to Frank for, uh, for submitting the site, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching that site review. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we post videos and when we go live. Now, if you're interested in having your site reviewed, there's a link in the description below this video where you can submit your website for that. And in addition to getting a site review, you're also gonna get a link where you can schedule a session with me. We're gonna go over the, your website, go over the review, I'll answer any questions that you have and help you make any changes that you're interested in making. So the link to sign up for that is in the description below this video. Now, don't forget Zenfolio Live coming up this Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Hope to see you guys there. Until then, I hope you have a great week.